A few weeks ago I installed a heat recovery fan that works in 70 second cycles. The warm air being extracted warms up this ceramic core so the cold air coming back in is warmed up by the core. They make some pretty bold heat recovery claims and whilst I ran some thermal imaging tests when I did my long form video, you made the point we wouldn't know how good it was until the temperature got a lot colder. And today it is that chilly so I thought I'd rerun the test to see just how good this fan is. When you start pointing these cameras around your home the results are pretty scary. So what have we got? Well the air in the kitchen is 22 degrees and during the exhaust phase the ceramic core goes from 16 to about 20 as the warm kitchen air gradually heats the core up. Then we're into the interesting bit where the fan motor reverses and starts sucking air in from outside and that outside air which was about 3 degrees when I was monitoring it is boosted to 10 degrees during that supply phase with perhaps a 1 degree reduction during the 70 seconds as the heat in the core is depleted by the cold air coming in. What does that amount to? If my dodgy mouse is correct, we're looking at 37% heat recovery. So where does that leave us? Well, Neil works in thermal imaging and made the point that this is showing the surface temperature on the ceramic core, not the air temperature itself. So the actual heat recovery could be higher. Let me know what you think, but I'll leave you with the point that the air quality has definitely improved since installing the fan and the relative humidity is averaging about 40%. But that's more down to ventilation generally than heat recovery. So you've got to ask yourself whether the cost of installing one of these DMEVs is justified, particularly if, like me, you've only got the one. Hopefully see you soon and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my new videos.